the Scottish wildcat. What it lacks in size, it makes up for in ferocity. Nicknamed the Highland Tiger, this cat is even more endangered than its striped Asian cousin. This is not a domestic cat that has gone wild. This is a truly wild animal that moved in here uh, shortly after the glaciers left uh, Britain. Uh, unfortunately, it really is in trouble. Um, its range has contracted massively from, from once having covered the whole of Britain to just parts of the Scottish Highlands. But the real problem that the wildcat faces is because it's quite closely related genetically to the domestic cat, it can actually interbreed and produce fertile hybrids. And this is a real problem because that's, with each passing generation, the wildcat is becoming more and more diluted and less and less distinctive of that native animal that we've had for so, so long in, in Scotland. A coordinated conservation effort has set up Scottish Wildcat Action. It's the first national effort to protect the cats in the wild and has established a conservation breeding program. Douglas Richardson is head of living collections at the Highland Wildlife Park. I firmly believe that uh, a healthy captive population of Scottish wildcats um, in high quality environments will be crucial to the survival of the species. Um, at the very least, that safety net role that they play. Um, someone alluded to captive breeding programs are like lifeboats on an ocean liner. Uh, you hope you never have to use one, but it's nice to know that they're there. Captive bred wildcats, like 11 year old Hamish, are being exchanged between parks to mate with genetically strong females to secure the future bloodline. Today, Hamish is being loaned to the Agas Field Centre near Inverness in the hope that he'll breed with one of their female wildcats. What's all this? What's this? Um, he's quite a character. He's not at all dangerous. Um, though saying that, I wouldn't want him to land on the top of my head. Um, um, he's very good with females and he's excellent with his offspring. I've actually seen him carrying and cleaning um, uh, his kittens on occasion. If Hamish and his female companions are successful, their descendants may eventually be released back into the highlands, but only into protected areas. I want to get that captive program to a level that if it all goes belly up as far as the wild population is concerned, we still have that cushion. It's not just about captive breeding in some of these facilities, it's about education and raising awareness, making people aware that we have this fantastic animal living in the wild here in Scotland and it does need our help. <laughs> 